Hello and welcome back to another edition of Check It Out. Okay friends, in today's video, I'm gonna assume that you're out there and you're shopping for a Chromebook, trying to figure out which is the best one maybe for your student and why are all these students getting Chromebooks and the schools I can tell you are being taken over by the Chromebooks for good reasons. I'm gonna talk about some of those reasons today. I'm also gonna dive into showing you how to make a document or at least where to find it and how to get going on that. Also the Google Sheets and Google Slides. So those are all three gonna be very similar to the um, Office for the Windows based like the Word, Excel and PowerPoint. Google has the exact same applications that do the same things and I'll show you how to get to those. First of all though, let's talk about these Chromebooks and why the schools are basically going this direction. I can't think of a single school that I know of that's not going this direction and for good reason. These Chromebooks, number one, are inexpensive. This one you're looking at right here is about $200 and works extremely well for the elementary school level. They're lightweight. They're small enough that can easily be stowed away in a backpack or in a desk, but they're still big enough that you get a full keyboard with them. So excellent, excellent computers here, and they're made to work easily and seamlessly. So a lot of the stuff that Google, what you get with it, is going to be web-based, it's gonna be cloud-based. So instead of storing things onto these computers, like pictures per se, you're going to, you can take pictures, but they're gonna be uploaded to the clouds. Also, like when you create a document, you're not gonna save it to this computer, it's gonna be saved to the cloud, and it's done automatically, instantaneously, you don't even have to really think about it at all. So let's dive into this a little bit, and let's take a look at how to make a document and where to find some of those different things. Okay, so if you look down here, here's a few applications, and this blue rectangle right here is how I can press for a shortcut to get the documents. If I wanted to, in the lower left right here, I can press on this, and then this little up arrow right here, and it will open up all these different choices I have here. I can move around these different applications. I can go from page, and you can add on more of them as we go. But these are some of the major ones. So here's Google Chrome in the upper left, which is already installed on your computer. You don't have to do anything with it. Also already installed is Docs, Slides, and Sheets. This is the equivalent of the Windows-based Office. So like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, these are essentially the exact same thing. Okay, friends, I know that was a very brief video, but just a snapshot and just a few words of encouragement that if you're not doing the Chromebook thing yet, it is the way of the future, especially if you're a parent and you have students in that elementary all the way up through high school, college level, the Chromebooks are the way to go. This one right here, the Chromebook 3, excellent way to go for elementary school. So I'll put a link down in the description below and you can do some more homework on this one. For a middle schooler, high school, or college student, Chromebook, in my opinion, is still the obvious way to go. However, you might wanna look at my other videos and choose a Chromebook that's a little bit more powerful, a little bit nicer, more refined than this. I'll put a link down in the description below of some of those nicer choices as well. And my uh, number one tip is buy an inexpensive mouse like this one by Logitech right here. 12 or $15 I paid for this thing and it works absolutely perfect. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, look under that playlist under Chromebooks and you'll see I've got about a half a dozen videos to really get you up to speed on these Chromebooks, help you shop and make a good choice. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.